All right, so the start of week 19 has been absolutely hectic. Um, crazy busy morning and it's pretty much midday, 12 o'clock and I have to go quickly swim. I've got about an hour and then I have to go leave and travel an hour to go look at a bike. So I wasn't gonna vlog, I wasn't gonna bring the camera, but I'm gonna bring it because we're gonna go see Nick as well. Nick's gonna check out the bike too, but it's from one of Nick's athletes. So it's been a crazy morning. So I'm gonna go swim and let's go drive and check out the new bike. All right, so swim is done, obviously. Um, quick 1800 meters. First time in a 25 meter pool since starting to learn to swim. I actually only did half the swim session. Not that I was fatigued, I just am running very, very short for time and we have to go travel an hour away to go look at this bike. If it sounds like I'm in a rush, it's because I'm in a rush. Um, my ETA there is exactly 2 p.m. I'll actually catch it after um, I do the bike and we're gonna take the bike to Nick and Nick's gonna check it out with us as well. Nick's back. We, um, we're checking out the bike. Oh, we've checked it out, actually. Um, Do we tell the story of how, you found, like, how weirdly connected it is to me? I said it's your athlete. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. coached the guy who bought the bike off, which is yeah. strange. <laughs> that was a weird interaction between the three of us via text, but good get. I'm not a bad get. I haven't, yeah. I haven't shown the bike yet. Haven't shown it yet? Nah. Ooh. Reaction? For your first TT bike, I reckon you've done well. Like, it's, it's a good find. Because um, these fly, like on Marketplace, like... You, you go looking, these disappear like straight away. So you got a little bit lucky, but then also the fact that we knew the guy means that like, the bike's in great condition. So we could trust that it wasn't going to be cracked or anything like that. So no, nah, I reckon you've done all right. I think we've done a pretty good job. Don't know when I'm going to show the bike though. Big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's like fit maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably chuck it on the train tonight. I'll do two hours on it. But then in my like video, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't see the, what the bike is. You can't see it anyway. So, um, yeah, don't know when I'm going to put the bike on. But Nick's given it positive, unlike the other bike. Yeah, yeah, uh, throw, other throw, bike throw, throw that other one out, get rid of it. Other one scrapped. Um, that is it. Bike's, bike's good now. Bike's good. And Nick's back on. <laughs> we just arrived home. It's been a very, very long day. I still got to do the two hour ride. Bike's in the back. So let's go up, put the bike on the trainer. Don't know how doing a bike session after a schnitzel roll, but I haven't eaten lunch. So I've just been traveling everywhere to the other side of the city to grab this bike. So let's go up and check out the bike. What a day. Turn on the microphone. I want to do a cool edit first. This is the beast that we are, that we got. Honestly, this was way outside my budget. I mean, I had to sell a few things, like a few camera gear and obviously my skydive gear. At least we know where it came from, who's ridden it. It's one of Nick's athletes. We've been setting bikes backwards and forwards for like two weeks. He's helped us out massively here. So thank you, Nick, so much, mate, for helping us out. And um, obviously being a good coach because your athletes are also great people. But yeah, this isn't just a once-off race. I just want to say that before I get comments about that. Man, and, and that, the way it sounds, I said this to Nick, and people are going to laugh if you watch triathlon, but you know when people like spin the wheel and then it goes and they post it on like their Instagram stories and everything? I always thought that it was electric. Like they were clicking some, like they were clicking a button and the wheel was just spinning. Don't ask me why. That's just what I thought. I had no idea. Uh, Nick did it when he was testing everything out. And I was like, oh, I always thought that was electric, and he just laughed. Boston's a bit scared of how loud the noise is, so... Even that. Even that he doesn't like. I won't do it, I'll do it when he's not here. Still haven't ridden today yet, 6pm. Honestly just had a massive day. Barely eaten, so that doesn't help us as well, but... It's, it's just all part of the process, that's it. Absolutely stoked. Even though it's a bit more expensive than what I wanted. It's honestly exactly what I pictured. But yeah, obviously learnt the hard way in the bike in the back. Close to a few carbon specialists, they all quoted over $1,500. So obviously no point. 
Um, I probably, I spend 700 AUD on the bike and then bike fitting, bike parts, servicing, probably spend in total 1500 AUD. That's pretty much gone down the drain. And I don't really speak about money on YouTube um, because I don't really like speaking about it. So I'd rather just leave it off, but I just wanted to let everyone know my expensive mistake and how much this has cost me. If you are starting out, really get to know people. Honestly, networking connections is what I found in this whole industry is massive and everyone's just there to support you. But yeah, very weird start to this week. This weekend, Sam is doing a two times two triathlon. So we'll get there and get around him and I'll take the camera as well. Catch you back on the bike in hopefully soon. Yep, I know, I'm wearing a hat indoors again, but it's been a long day, all right? So much more comfortable though. So yeah, that has been my Monday and the start to the week. I don't usually do late sessions at all, but today's just been absolutely hectic. Um, it's a lot more smoother, that's for sure. I do need to get a bike fit again now, but I'm just gonna use the same measurements that I got from the previous bike fit. This is cool though. We've got a two hour, basically unstructured ride. So I'm just doing flats. I'm cheating a little bit today. But yeah, as I've said about 40 times, don't make the same mistake I made. But yeah, not sure what to do with the old bike. Um, I got told to sell the parts of it, so that's what I'm thinking to do, unless anyone has any other suggestions. Did my first proper road ride on the weekend as well. I think the hardest thing was adapting to clicking in and clicking out, like at red lights and everything. I've already fallen in week two, so if I fall again, I fall again, but hopefully I don't fall on this bike. Two hour rides done, it was pretty cruisy, nothing crazy. Um, just basically a bit of a feel good ride. Um, I found now on the weekend that you don't wear underwear under bibs or tri suits. I actually didn't know that at all. Apparently it's because when you go to swim and then bike, you can get really bad blisters. I'll catch you Wednesday. Let me know what you think I should do with this bike. It makes me, um, makes me sad every time I look at it now, knowing the money that I've wasted. I'm gonna close the door and listen to this bike. Like, I'm excited, obviously. A lot of money, new bike. The only food that I have here is Nutri-Grain and Weet-Bix and milk and honey and white bread. That's about it. But yeah, let's uh, let's listen to this bike. Very questionable kid on at the moment. You can even hear it is doing this, ready? So nuts, so crazy. Yeah, I, I always thought whenever people put that on their stories that it was an electric bike. And I was like, why are they using electric bikes in triathlon? Like, isn't that illegal? Um, anyway, now I know that they just got good bikes. So, 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 so cool. I'm excited. I'm allowed to be excited, especially when it was so expensive. But I sold a lot of things in two days to afford most of it. I'm also going to get a hydration thing for the front. I lost a water bottle on the weekend. Um, I had to stop and walk down and go get it. I'm not very good at drinking whilst riding. Um, found that out the hard way. I can probably slow down to like 20 k's an hour and I'm okay, um, but I just can't do it at pace at all. So if you have the same bike as me and use hydration on the front, um, maybe let me know what you do. Sort of the next day now, I just, um, I just went to bed and fell asleep. I'm about to go make brekkie and then we're gonna hop on the bike. But what I've done with my bike at the moment is I've tweaked it to the previous settings that I got from the bike fit and then adjusted it from there. Obviously different geometry, so, but I have to send a few videos to my coach. Um, so I'll put them on here as well because I know I'll get a lot of expert opinions. So um, I'll go one from the side, one from the front and one from the back is what I've been asked to do. Bit shorter cranks than what I was previously running on that. That was 172.5 and the new one's 165. So let's go have some brekkie and then we'll hop on the bike. That is 
breakfast. So I'll catch you upstairs and we'll chuck the bike on the kicker and let's get some videos of what I'm looking like on it at the moment. Let's chop on the bike and let's see what we're thinking. I'm off to go do an actual session now on the bike. That'll be the end of the video this week because I'm very, very busy um, this afternoon, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So hopefully I get time to edit this, um, but end of the video this week. Thank you so much for watching again. Still learning everything every week. I'm looking forward to the comments that can try and help me out with the bike um, and any tips or any additions that you think I should add to the bike. Obviously, can't add it straight away. Um, anything, anything you'd suggest, just let me know. Um, and I'll have a look at it as well. Thank you all again, and I'll see you again next week.